We're going to hook up the electrical connections for the throttle body. We're going to cap off the original location for the factory uh, PCV back into the plenum. We're also going to install our supplied three bar map sensor. Let's do it. Okay, connector right here. It's important to use these, put these um, locators for the factory harness back where they came from. They're very important. All right, one of those here. Down here. We get to push the lock back on every piece. Last connector left. This is for our intake air temperature sensor. We'll install when we sh install our short pipe. This is just a block off here. Quarter inch is the size. Now all this, of course, came pre-packaged, very well labeled on the bag. Simple there. Now here's our map sensor, factory map sensor. Won't read boost at all. So you turn it all the way and pull up. Just a quarter turn there. Next one installs the same way. Install, push down, turn, and now for our map sensor adapter. A very important step here. Two years been selling the 3.6 liter uh, turbocharger package from Prodigy Performance. Number one tech support question. My car doesn't start, I just got the install done, I got all these issues, great. Check the map sensor adapter. It's been the number one uh, question we've had. Provide adapter. On the three bar map sensor, only plug in one way. And realistically, put it here. Here's the adapter portion. Anytime you work on cars, this piece is so you can, it can, you can secure it to a harness lockdown somewhere. This is how it's made for us. It's smooth on this side, has a tab on this side. The tab is meant to catch the lock on the connector. Okay, so it goes just like this. And when you push it, you'll hear it click, it'll be firm. We've had people install it this way, force it on there, and then of course it's backwards. So this is the side, the little tab is for the lock. So straight together, it'll be firm, and click right on. Very simple. So we got our flame coated uh, turbocharger insulator blanket here. Now, this is gonna go over this way. The two tabs are gonna be towards the rear of the vehicle, the short one's in the front. Here's the securing pieces, they're just springs. So the hook on here, you're gonna wrap it over and it's gonna hook to there, same thing on the other side. Here's a great tip. How I do it, I put them both on here, okay? Use a pair of pliers, any pair of pliers. Get it on top there and then squeeze it, all right? This way, they don't try to pop off while you're installing it. Cause you're gonna have to slide it on then you have to reach in there, grab it, wrap it around, stretch it out, and grab it like this. And to get your hands in there, it's pretty tight. But if, as long as you squeeze it here, they won't try to pop back off. And that'll be excellent. Let's do it. And it goes over the clamp, all of it. It should encase all of it. So get it down there, get it fit, looking good. I got one up already. Okay, one's on, looking good. Let's see if we can reach around here and grab the other one. Got it in my hand. And it's on, okay? Simple as that, about a minute or so. Move it around, get it to fit nice. I like it concealing the clamp and all of this here. Really 
It's a great fit. Okay, so we have our coolant tank provided. We installed the fitting. Ready to go. So what I do is I leave this on here a little bit. Now I'm gonna install it here. Again, we're just gonna slide it on the top one, down on the side here, real simple. Light push, not going anywhere. We have our uh, factory hose coming from the radiator that went to the factory coolant tank. We'll install it here, see how it should look, route it, okay? And we'll just simply cut it. Cut it to fit. All right, so we got that. Slide it on the push hose. We'll tighten the fitting in just a minute. So what I like to do here, I use a couple zip ties, slide them straight through. Okay, they'll come out the bottom. Give them a little bend. They'll come out through here. Then you can secure them over how you like. Give you a nice clean look. And do, of course, even though they didn't do it from the factory, I always put one here, put one here. Okay, only thing left, cut off the ends. You're not going to squish the hose, of course. You're just going to use it for hold down. Rot them so it looks good. Cut them off. Coolant tank's ready to go. Next step, we're going to install the intake charge pipe.